Let's talk about side hustles. We're gonna rank 20 different side hustles, the best ones out there, and experts recommend that everyone has at least one or two side hustles. They'll give you an extra income in addition to your job and also save you if you lose your job. That can happen anytime, as we saw during the pandemic with all the layoffs, and it can be completely out of your control. My name is Lucas, and I've tried so many different side hustles. I failed in most of them because I picked the wrong side hustles, but now I currently have five different sources of income that I built from zero. I'm gonna give myself 60 seconds for each side hustle let's see if we can do this the first one is incredibly simple you can make money by driving on uber or lyft this is incredibly easy to get started with all you need to do is sign up on their website get verified and then you can start taking orders let's say you have a couple of hours to spare once in a while well then you might as well just drive people around and make some money of course this requires you to have a car and live in a city but i still think it's a good opportunity and i'm gonna put this on the c tier i mean the pay is definitely not the best but it only requires a car to get started there's no learning process or something and you can make money on your first day. The next one is a little bit controversial, but you make a lot of money doing this. It is by being an OnlyFans shatter. Now OnlyFans is a platform where people pay to subscribe to a certain type of creator, usually a model, and these people are paying customers that expect the OnlyFans creator to chat with them sometimes. I mean, it's a part of what they pay for. Now these people don't have the time to do this, especially if they have a large following. So they actually hire someone to do it for them and talk to these people. And this is a little bit shady. I mean, you can see some really weird stuff. You can make a lot of money by being an OnlyFans shatter, and I would put this side hustle on the B tier, but I know it's kind of weird, you know. I make a few thousand dollars per month from the next thing by basically doing nothing, and it's affiliate marketing. It just means that you get paid a certain percentage for connect buyer to a seller. Think of it like being a real estate agent. It's not your product, but you connect a buyer with a seller and you get a commission for doing so. For example, you could send people to an online store. Now, sometimes these commissions can be really high, and if you have a social media following or a blog, you can make a lot of money doing so. But you don't even need an audience to make money. You can share these links on forums, on Reddit or even on Twitter. Just help people out when they're looking to buy something and then if they use your link you get a nice cut. For some of my commissions from affiliate marketing I get over 200 bucks from one single sale and that is a lot of money and you don't need any experience or a product to start. It's completely free, there's no startup costs, so affiliate marketing definitely goes to the A tier. Next one on the list is testing websites. You can actually get paid for recording your screen and just going to different websites. The companies want to learn more about how users experience their website so they're willing to pay for it. I'll say that most websites that offer this pay pretty badly and the work is not going to be that steady at all. Sometimes you'll have nothing to do for weeks and sometimes it's a lot of work. So I would put this on the D tier because you can make some money with it. But considering how the work is pretty limited and not always available, I wouldn't rely on this as your main side hustle. The next side hustle is called dropshipping. And I know that you've heard about this one. You've probably seen some scammy online course. Although dropshipping is really overhyped, it actually works. You create a store with some products and when somebody buys one of your products, you buy it from a manufacturer probably in China or something, and then send it directly to the buyer, and you take a nice cut between what the customer paid and what the product cost when you buy it. That's your profit. It's pretty cool because you don't need any inventory and it's free to start. You can use Shopify and create your store and then you can just promote it on social media. TikTok is really popular right now and if you do get a viral video, you will likely get a lot of customers quickly and make some really good money. Be aware that dropshipping is incredibly competitive and very few people succeed, but those who do can make a lot of money. So for that reason, I'll put this on the C tier because I think it's not really beginner friendly at all. Next up, we have blogging. Now, blogging died years ago, nobody's making money from it, but there's now a website called Medium where you can create articles and get paid for it. It basically works like YouTube, every time somebody reads your article you get paid. And that means that you can just write about anything you're interested in and make some good money on the side. And I know people that make thousands of dollars every single month from just writing these articles on Medium. My secret tip is that you can review products in your articles and they just put a link to these products so you get a commission every time somebody clicks on them. It is a super easy way to make more money on Medium from your articles. So I would put Medium on the A tier because it's free to start, anyone can do it and the income potential is great if you do it right. The next side hustle is tutoring, you know, teaching people something online. It could be a language, it could be a school subject, or it could even be something completely different like how to play guitar. This is a pretty cool side hustle because you can work as much as you want and it's super flexible. And honestly, the pay can be really good too. It is incredibly easy to get started and it's safe because tutors are always needed and you don't need to be lucky to start making money as a tutor. Also, this is pretty cool. If you go on Fiverr, you can find people teaching all sorts of stuff, like how to get better at a certain video game. And these guys make money doing so, just playing their video game. So I'll put tutoring on the S tier. I think it's a great way of both making money and getting valuable teaching experience. One of my side hustles is YouTube. I make money from YouTube ads, from sponsorships, and when you buy something using my links. And you can do it too. It is a great way and costs basically nothing to start as long as you have a microphone. 
Now, I will be honest and say that I've done YouTube for over eight years over multiple channels. And when I started, I got no views for a couple of years. YouTube is a long game and it can be pretty hard to start making money fast if you're a new YouTuber. So if you need money right now, then don't do YouTube. But if you want to build a channel that makes you money eventually, then just get started. You can also make money on YouTube without making videos yourself by just creating shorts from other people's content. Yes, this is allowed as long as the creator enables the feature on their videos. You can't just take somebody's footage. I mean, that's not okay. Next up, we have two physical side hustles, moving lawns and walking dogs. Now, they're both very different. I mean, one is cutting grass and one is taking dogs for a walk. But you can do both of these in your own neighborhood and get started by either creating some flyers and handing them out or post in your local Facebook group. That is a great way to see if anyone is interested and wants to become your first customer. The great thing about these side hustles is that once you have a client, they'll earn you money for a long time. People need their grass cut regularly and their dogs walked multiple times a week or every single day. So you can earn a pretty solid regular income by doing this. And I'll put the side hustle on the A tier because it's easy to get started and you don't need any skills. The next thing is Fiverr and on Fiverr you can do a lot of different things. I mean, you can do graphic design, marketing, sell photos you take, or just about anything. For example, you could proofread texts like these people are doing on Fiverr and make money from it. Fiverr is one of those platforms that have a great potential, but it might take you a little bit of time to get started. This is because you need to compete against so many other people doing the same thing, and that's why starting out you can expect to earn very little, but make more and more money as time goes on. I'll put Fiverr on the A tier because you can find so many different freelancing things to make money from. Next up, have you seen all the electric scooters laying around in your city? Well, somebody is getting paid to take care of them, or more specifically, to fill their batteries. These people are contractors that go around, they pick up these ones and they take them home to charge with their car. Then they place them back the next day and they just get paid for doing so. In companies like Lime, Bird and Voy, they offer this job to basically anyone that's looking to do it. According to CNBC, people can even make 24 bucks picking up scooters for just 30 minutes, but, but sometimes people can make a lot more if they pick up scooters in specific areas, like the city center. And some say that Bird pay 5 bucks per scooter, so if you pick up 20 scooters in one night you can make a hundred bucks per evening by just picking up some scooters. It is incredibly easy and I'll definitely put this one on the A tier as long as you have a car of course. Now let's talk about a side hustle that's super easy to start and it's delivering groceries to people. It's a bit like the food delivery people with just groceries. There are different companies that do this depending on your location and all you really need to get started is a bike or a car. You will usually get one of those large backpacks from the company and then you can just get started right away. And one company I recommend is is Instacart. They are everywhere in the US and also in many other countries and sometimes you get a pre-made bag. Other times you're expected to go in the store and find the items yourself for your customer. It is basically like being a shopper for someone and delivering the groceries for someone and getting paid. That is pretty cool. This one goes to the C tier because you won't make that much money doing this and it can be pretty stressful with all the different things you have to do but I still think it's a good opportunity for some people. Next up is receipt scanning which basically means that you scan the receipt when you buy something and you get a small reward each each time. It could for example be that you scan your grocery receipts and then receive points which you can turn into either money or gift cards depending on the company. Fetch is a good company for this, they have lots of gift cards available and you can also use Receipt Hog and with them you can even get cash paid out right to your bank account so you don't have to deal with any gift cards anymore. Scanning receipts is incredibly easy, it's not going to take any extra work and therefore I'll put this on the A tier just because it doesn't require any extra work and it's a way to make money from the things that you already buy in your daily life. The next side hustle is doing transcription work. This means that you listen to an audio file and then type out what you hear. It can be for subtitles for like a movie or a video or just because somebody wants to turn an audio file into a text. Some companies like to do this because they have many meetings and they want them to be available in text format so people can read it after. It's a pretty cool opportunity but the pay can be pretty bad unless you specifically find a good company to work for. Therefore I'll put this one on C tier as well but if you do find a good company or if you know some unknown language for example that's not super popular then you can make a lot of money doing so. English is pretty competitive that's just something to keep in mind. Social media management is up next and it's one of those things that people think is really hard. You have to have a lot of experience or you have to be an influencer and that's not true. It can be as simple as helping somebody plan their upcoming posts on Instagram, taking some photos and writing things. 
you will create content for social media, you will test things out and try to grow their following and engagement on their social media channels. You might also talk to a follower or a client and increase engagement in the community, for example, by responding to comments on Instagram. It can be a really exciting role. I mean, everything is always new and you can do this in your free time if you find a freelance gig, for example, on Upwork or Fiverr. And I'll put this one on the B tier because it does take some time to get started and start making money. But once you do, it has some really good potential. Now we all take photos some people make money from the photos that they take. That is because websites like Shutterstock allow you to sell your photos to people and companies that want to buy them. All you do is upload your existing images and get paid every time somebody downloads them. Shutterstock has paid out more than $1 billion in total, so it's pretty safe to say that people are making money from this. The better photos you take, the more money you'll make, of course. And for this, it's a very good idea to get a camera, but sometimes, but nowadays, phones can have really good cameras too, so if you have a new phone that might actually be enough. I think this is really good if you do like taking photos and you just do this in your daily life because you can actually make money without doing any extra work. I'll put this one on the A tier because it's passive income that you can make without doing any extra work, just uploading your photos and waiting. Next on the list is flipping things, but not just flipping anything, flipping or reselling books. There are a lot of old books available that you can find at garage sales, at markets, or even online. People just want to get rid of these old books, but what you do is you take them home, you brush them up, and you list them separately or in a full collection online. Let's say you find the Harry Potter books and you're able to sell them as a full collection. Then somebody is probably willing to pay much more for this compared to just buying them separately, especially if it's a full collection and they pay way more. And that means that you make a lot of money doing so. All you do is you package it, you ship it to them and make money. If you scale this up and you're able to sell a couple of books per day, you can make some really good money from this. And books sell. I mean, that is how Amazon started. They were actually an online bookstore when they started. And you can sell your books on Amazon too. It's free to start and I'll put this one on the B tier because it's a fun side gig but you need to be very interested in books or this is going to be way too boring. Coming up next we've got some online surveys. Now surveys are one of those things that most people think are just a scam but there are actually some good websites that pay you real money from simple surveys. Now we all know Google and I think it's a pretty reputable and well-known company. What do you think? Anyway Google have something called Google Opinion which is basically a survey platform where you do some easy surveys about what you think about stuff and you get paid for it. And yes, you will actually get paid to your bank account. I mean, it's Google. They're not going to scam you. So I think this is a good opportunity, but surveys still have pretty mediocre income potential. So I'll put this one on the C tier. I mean, it's a safe company. It's a good site, but surveys are still surveys. Finally, we've got social media marketing or SMMA. It's one of those misunderstood side hustles. And if you do it correctly, you can make a lot of money or even make it your full-time job. Basically, what you do is promote companies through social media. And often this involves working with paid ads like on Facebook, which might sound complicated now, but it's actually pretty simple. You basically drive the right people to either follow the company, buy a product from them, or sign up to something on their website. And it's very valuable if you can do this correctly. And you'll make a lot of money because you directly help companies make more money. So it's pretty fair for you to ask for a lot of money. Now this can be pretty hard to start because it's very competitive, but there are a lot of free resources online, for example on YouTube. Avoid buying an expensive course when you get started. I mean, there are a lot of gurus trying to sell you this and you can learn most of the things completely for free online. Buying a course can be great for motivation but just don't fall into the trap that gurus try to sell you as a beginner. Ranking this one is really hard because a lot of people make no money from this but those who do manage to successfully do social media marketing can make a lot of money. I'll put this one on the A tier but keep in mind that the learning curve can be pretty steep here and you're not going to make a lot of money until you become pretty advanced. That's it for this video. Like and subscribe for more. I post videos like this all the time and check out this video next.